Hey guys, I'm back again. I know you just seen me a few minutes ago, but um, since we're talking about hair, I wanted to show you my product junkie box. So that's why I call this my retired product junkie. So I told you the product junkie ritual is real out here, and it's sad, but it's real. And like I said, I calmed down a lot, but I still kept it. And I, the reason why I kept it, kept all my products, was because, you know, they worked. But I just like experimenting. But, you know, once you get that staple product line that works for you, you just get used to it. So that's why I've kept it. But, of course, you know, I like to go back to my roots and use some of the other things. And don't get me wrong, I mean... I still like all my products and I'm glad that I still have them on hand because you know it's good to always go back and try things out again. So I want to show you a few things of what I use and what I have used and why I used it and you know what good it comes out of it. Okay. So I told you that now I've been gone back to using Main and Tell and these are my favorite. This is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. And this is the deep moisturizer. They have like herbal grow and um, the clarifying and the dandruff one. But I need moisturizer because my hair is really dry. And you know it's good to have shampoo conditioner. And one thing also that I forgot to mention in my other video is that you know shamp a lot of people don't shampoo because it has a sulfate or whatnot. And before all this experimenting with the ingredients and stuff came out, you gotta think about the stuff that had sulfate, but your hair is still good and still growing. It does, to me, it honestly does not matter because my hair still is in good condition. My hair still grows sulfate or not. And I like to shampoo, I like to get the buildup from the oils that I put in my hair and rinse it out of my hair. Okay, this intense treatment by cream of nature i told you that i love their line i have the oil moisturizer this is what i put on my hair after i wash it or if i want to do braid out twist out on my hair because it actually you can see the oil you can see the oil the shininess you can see the, all that when you do it use this and i like that because when you use other products you know you can feel the wetness on the hair but you can't see the moisture so i like that and this is what i use on my hair when i deep condition you know instead of me going all the way in the fridge trying to come up with something i just pull this bad boy out put it on my hair put a um, walmart bag or a shopper's bag my hair sit with my heat infuser hair thing you know the thing you put the dryer on and it comes through the hair I just put that on there deep condition boom and call it a day so I used to use Giovanni um, deep moisturized conditioner and shampoo I ran out of shampoo and I have their leave-in conditioner and this worked but it's kind of kept my hair wet a little bit so if I did a twist out like six hours before taking it out or overnight, it still will kind of be wet on my hair just a little bit. But I don't know, maybe just because I put too much because I've learned that less is better. So the less product you put in your hair, the less, you know, tragedy you'll have with your hair. But it does work. I got this um, straight from Target and it works. Okay. Shea Moisture, ba -ba -ba, my favorite. I've been using Shea Moisture since I went natural or whatnot, and this has been something that has stuck with me. You get it at Target, they usually have their buy one, get one half off special. I'd say buy one, get one free. I wish, but uh, they have that, and I use their Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and this works as well. Um, sometimes, I guess, depending on how much I use. Um, they it leaves white buildup in my hair and I don't like that but it does give shine and the smell is awesome and this is what I use as my base I use the treatment mask as my base to mixing my egg my yogurt my olive oil all that so on top of this this on top of my other stuff is a bomb deep conditioner mixture so please take in consideration of that 
coconut oil I use this to pre poo so I'll take some just rub my hair put a um, Walmart shopper giant bag over my hair leave it on for an hour or two or depending if I'm doing something just leave it on for the heck of it and this works magic <laughs> like it helps my hair grow and it keeps it shiny and it just it's a good staple product to have so and I got this from Walmart you can get coconut oil pretty much anywhere so after I let go of my junkie my product junkiness I went back to using Garnier New Trees I used this when I put my weave back in because it actually moisturizes it and it gives you when I blow it out and dry it it gives me that blowout effect or whatnot so I'll do like Garnier New Trees products um, yes, the shampoo does have sulfate in it as well, but I do like that it has all of avocado, olive oil, and um, almond oil in it, and it's it's really good products. And you can just go to Walmart, three, four dollars, or go to um, Rite Aid, and they have it there for cheap. I just started using uh, um, aloe vera gel. I wish I would have started using this a long time ago, but this is really good. Like it gives you shine. It actually helps aid your hair to grow or whatnot. So I use this on my ends, and I sh I will show you my little mixture bottle of what I mix in it. But I do use olive oil on my scalp as well to help you know soothe any dryness, any you know scalp burns that I may randomly just have gotten all of a sudden. Ego seller! Oh my gosh, this is a big thing. But if you do high buns as frequent as I used to, you will need this because the little small one from the um, beauty store it will not last you. And I use this when I do my Marley twist, or if I do a wash and go, I'll put some in there just to keep you know my hair shiny and to keep it from crunching. And like I like this gel because it does not harden your hair. Now, some people say it does, but maybe they're just putting too much. You don't need a lot, but you need enough to achieve your waves. It makes my waves pop. Like, in my some of my pictures, like, that's how my waves come out because this defines it. So, I like this. I used to use the olive oil one, but I do like the Moroccan oil. I don't know. What is it about the Moroccan oil? Is it really from Morocco? I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, this is another from the um, Cream of Nature line, the um, Edge Perfect Edge. This is sent from the gods. Do you hear me? So I you when I first started doing the edge control, I I mean do work with my edges. I did use olive oil, but the white it just came out so white on my hair and on my scalp. It just was not what it was cracked up to be. So when I started using this, I got nothing but gloss shine polished look on my edges and praise God for it <laughs> so and because I heard good things about as I am I wanted to try it so I did do gua sha goes for a little short period of time but eventually it got natted and hardened as the day went by so I um I still have it and I do like it it does smell awesome like it's really good like I like it and you know I got it from Sally's and I can't say anything bad about it it's just something that I can't use consistently but I'll use if I decide to go back to using um using my good old wash and goes okay the macadamia nut this is a really good deep conditioner I really like this product it's expensive Yes, it is very expensive. It's thirty. I paid thirty something dollars for this, and I—that's when I learned I'm not paying more than a, a half tank of gas for hair products. No. So, but it is good. I leave it on for like seven to ten minutes in the shower, or whenever I do do something, and my hair is smooth. The curls are defined, and it really works. So, um, but not for thirty something dollars. I'm sorry. And this is also another um, shampoo, I mean, excuse me, conditioner from Garnier New Trees, Length and Strength. So, you know, it adds that moisture and that nourishment to get you to have strength in your hair so that your hair can grow. And that's what people need to realize, you know, as far as hair growing, it's not about your product. It's how you take care of your hair, which is going to produce the growth and length. Because if you sit here and add all this kink, 
the buildup in your hair, your hair is not going to go because your scalp is not open to receive the nourishment of what needs to make your hair grow. And like I said, I'm no natural hair scientist, but I had to learn that myself. And that pays the fact that that's why I shampoo and condition each time. Okay, I do love this hair oil. I on the directions it said you're supposed to use, I guess like as a pre-poo or whatever, and you know you rinse it out. But I just leave it on there, so I don't know if it's supposed to be like a leave-on scalp treatment or really is it a pre-poo, like you just really leave it on for an hour and then take it off. I'm not sure, but this works. My hair has remained this dark color because I like my hair jet black. I don't like it brown. I, I, for, I don't know why. I'm just picky like that. But I do like black hair and this does help in aiding to keep it at its dark color. But it, um, my sister introduced my little sister. I actually listened to her because this does help a girl out her hair. So this is my little spray bottle. It's, forget the name of it. I just got it because I needed some spray. A spray bottle where I can spray, you know, my hair with when I use my braids and stuff. So here is the Alma Oil, um, the Aloe Vera Gel, and water, and Jamaican Black Castor Oil, which is something that I also definitely use. And you know, I I just because for some reason I just don't like take my finger and rubbing on it because my hair is like braided up or whatever. Like you know, you, when you go on your scalp and stuff it kind of messes your hair up so i just like to spray and now i'm massaging just a little bit and then i just call it a day so this is my little staple spray bottle and this is what i've been using on my hair so and i have water in it to dilute some of the oil in it and you know our hair needs water to grow so i do take pride in using that okay this is hydrothermal, hydrothermal naturals. This is the line. If you read my blog, you will see that I stated stuff about it. And I used to use this when I was relaxed. And I guess now that, you know, they're getting into the natural thing too. They're doing their own thing as far as helping natural hair as well. So this has helped my hair as well. This is the um, moisture boost and shampoo. And I have the um, amino plus protein deep condition now this is the truth this was sent really from the gods like it smells awesome and when you take it out after your 30 minute leave-in and they or you sit under the dryer your hair is so soft and it's so conditioned so and this is a product that I ordered offline like I said I've been using this when I was relaxed but I still like it like it really works like it makes your hair grow or whatnot because it has the nourishment to help your hair grow but like I said it's all in how you take care of your hair that you're going to receive it but this stuff is really good so you should try it yourself you know go to her website you know www.healthyhairjourney.com and you will see for yourself okay um let's jam i just use it for my marley braids or my braids whenever i do that i got this oil dad i received this from i went to a natural hair event by alex l her big hair and brunch um luncheon in washington dc and this came in our gift bag and i don't have anything bad to say about it but it just was it wasn't for my hair and one thing I'm learning to do is be honest with myself in all things. And what this is something that is just not stable for my hair. Like this made my hair, my curls really hard. And this, it, it I didn't have a problem with it. Like I didn't see much difference, but I can't say it's a bad product. So, you know, try it out and see for yourself. It may make your curls better than mine, but it didn't work. Like I said, this is the edge control I used to use. Mm, no. <laughs> the um, curl gel souffle. I use this for my Marley twist too. Or my braids. And this smells really good. It's really sticky. And I don't like, I don't like the sticky feeling. But it does help to make your hair, you know, it, it's not that hard gel effect. So it's a really good 
So I started before I went back to after my little Prada Junkie crisis. I started using Elastic QP products and I've heard good things about it, but it smells really good. It smells really good and it did give me some moisture in my hair, but it's just something that I will go back to. It's not something that I use consistently anymore. Ever since I sorry, ever since I started using cream of nature, like I'm just so content with it. Like I love cream of nature. So kudos to cream of nature. Seriously, like y'all doing it up. And of course the <laughs> leaving it straight speaking of cream of nature. It's just they're just awesome like I really commend their products so if they ever need advertising or they want somebody to be on their on the cover of their boxes or something call me <laughs> so um, last but not least I mean I have other stuff too but um, just for washing process uh, washing stuff whatever um, my best friend introduced this to me um, when I was relaxed and it really this is some good stuff I don't know if y'all ever use out to ego stuff but this is some good conditioner like this is a deep conditioner and it's made from garlic garlic is really good from here from what I've researched and this is perfect it's like a Dominican type thing that they use on their hair and it this is some good stuff like my hair was soft it was moisture like it was laid to the gods and this is something if you have damaged hair like i used to have this is something that you should consider trying out so try it you can order it offline or amazon whatever floats your boat just make sure that you try it. when i dry my hair when i straighten my hair or when i use the flat iron i use the tresemme um, thermal creation and these are some more of the hydrothermal naturals. This is her growth lotion. See, it's almost gone. And her hair growth lotion. So these are some good products to use. Like, you know, don't just... I'm not knocking, you know, these new products that are coming up. Like, because I really, I really support new businesses. I would love to, you know, do a review on any business as possible, many as possible. But, you know, it's good to try step outside that box and try other stuff okay um i used to do the cayenne pepper and olive oil thing and that worked in my hair it's kind of weird when you wash your hair and you see all that cayenne pepper in your tub or whatever but it actually helped my hair grow a little bit so i haven't used i haven't done these things a long time because i i don't want to get in this phase where i want to grow my hair out but I want to get it back to its that its healthy state of mind because flat ironing it and weaving it up and trying this and coloring it blah 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 it really does damage and your you know natural hair is really fragile because it's in its net it's in its natural state of mind so I want to get my hair back in its natural state of mind so that way it will grow and in its own time and on God's time. You know, I will have that big old fro and, you know, it'll be beautiful. And um, I also have the curly, kinky, kinky curly, excuse me, not today. I haven't really used this much, but, you know, I, it would be nice to, you know, go back and use that as well. Okay. So I think that's all in my um, hair junkie box. So I will go back to using some of these. But for the time being, you know, just because, you know, I'm expecting to go have my baby anytime soon. And I know I'm not going to have time to do my hair. And, you know, that's why I just have this weaving for the time being. But I promise you when I come back. Oh, and here's my denim brush. Got to have that on deck. Make sure your curls are bone popping. So when I come back, you know you know full force I will make sure that I have my hair out and you know I will do a limp check because in my blog I did say I'm doing a six month no heat no damage uh, regimen so I will check my limp in January and the last time I did a limp check with my hair straight was in March so I can show you a picture of that and then in January when I come back we'll see how far along I mean, I say I'm coming back in January, but when I do my lymph check in January, we will see how much growth I've obtained. 
So I hope you enjoyed my Prada Junkie box. I know I told you I was used to be a Prada Junkie, but I'm not about that life anymore. I just keep my staple.